Hi, good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be about how to deal with difficult people. Hmm. Alright, so we're just going to get right into it. Um, it takes practice for one, I'll say, but um, I'm not going to deviate from the list that I have prepared. Alright, so number one on how to deal with difficult people is don't react. Don't react when they're doing things or they're saying things that, you know, um, can be upsetting to you or, you know, whether or not, well, whether they're doing it on purpose or um, whether they don't know what they're doing, you lead yourself. You can't lead other people. It's something my husband always says. You can't direct other people and how they live their lives, but you can direct yourself. You can lead yourself. You can control what your reaction is. So you have to practice controlling yourself. All right, number two is try to see life from their point of view. I know it's hard in that moment, but again, if it's a practice, um, if you practice this, it'll get easier and easier over time. You try to see life from their point of view. You know, what are they going through? Um, what is it that's happening to them? Um, what's happened to them in their past? Um, what, what have they experienced? Because one of the things that I've learned over time is that you never know what somebody has gone through or what they're currently going through. And, and you know, we tend to be self-centered. We think about ourselves and the effect that things uh, uh, have on us. And even the effect that this person is having on us. But sometimes when we take a moment to think about what they might be going through, um, I've learned that there's always somebody worse off than I am. And I could be going some, through something really bad, but they could be going through something even worse. So um, try to look at life or the situation from their point of view. All right, number three, set boundaries. Because no matter what they're going through, they still do not have a right to be abusive towards you. Um, you don't have to put up with it. So you set boundaries when you know uh, that you're at your stress level or, you know, it's just not the day um, or, or you know, you just can't deal with it right now or you're not willing to deal with it. It's okay to set boundaries. Remove yourself from the situation. And if you can't remove yourself from the situation, then you just say to them, hey, look, I'm not doing this right now with you. That simple. All right, it's okay to set boundaries. Number four, rise above the situation. No matter what it is, there's a way to rise above the situation. Um, you could do that by saying to them, okay, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're going through. I understand what's going on. I understand how you could be mad about this or, or how you don't understand this. I get it. However, let's not do this right now. Or, um, um, you know, refer them to somebody else who who may have more information or who may be better able to deal with the situation, who may be who may have the answers that that person needs. Refer them to somebody else. Either way, rise above it. It's okay for you to say, you know what, let's not do this, or I'm not going to do this, or how about I refer you to this person or to this place or to this website or something. Okay. All right, and then the last thing is pray for them. I know that's not always uh, our first reaction, but it really does work. Um, it doesn't have to be long, difficult, uh, deep prayer. It could be just, Lord, help them. Whatever the situation is, you know it. You know the details. You know the background because you created this person. You are intimately involved in who they are. And so, you know, I don't know, so I pray that whatever it is they need in this situation, that you give it to them, that it's granted to them, Lord, that, that you help them. Because I, I don't have the capacity today to help them. So, Lord, I'm calling on you. Help them, Jesus. Seriously, you pray for them and then you let it go. Again, remove yourself from the situation. Let them know, I mean, if, if it's this kind of relationship where you can say, you know what, I love you, but I don't really have any answers for you. Let's go to the Lord. And you take it to the Lord in prayer and then you move on. Amen. Amen.
all right so that's it um how to deal with difficult people thank you so much for joining me today and i look forward to the next time that we get together subscribe below um turn on notifications so you get um updates on uh, when the next video is going to be prepared and i hope this helps have a good one